Hey guys, it's your boy, OG Raids here for a new video, and today we are doing my first Minecraft YouTube series on uh, Mirage PvP. And basically how it's going to work is I'm going to start with these five legendary keys. I'm going to open them, which these are the best keys, $25 worth. Um, and once I open them, I'm going to see what I get. And basically what those materials I get, I'm going to use to make a base. As you can see, I only have $404, which is basically the amount you start off with on the server anyways. So basically that and whatever I get will go towards this new base I have. So let's start with the first key. So we start off with a zombie spawner and a skelly spawner and five god apples and a diamond axe efficiency five on freaking three. And also guys, just to let you know how this is working is basically my main account that I use, well this is my main account, but everything from what I do anyways on the first thing is just going to go towards on this one too. And Cortex is being stupid with my head. Alright, so let's open the next key. A 64 emeralds. Four stacks of TNT, a witch spawner, a case spider spawner, and another diamond axe. Those diamond axes aren't gonna really do anything for us, so let's get another one. Um, we didn't get any spawners that one. Eight stacks of bottles of enchanting, five sharpness of breaking three, fire aspect two swords. Or just one of them, actually, my bad. Um, yeah, let's put this in my PV. Let's see, uh, hold on, let me see where I can put it. I don't know if I can put it anywhere. I see my chatter chest. Let me just empty it real quick. Sorry guys, this is so cluttered. Oh, I just dropped my really okay. Sorry. I have to grab that. Um, okay. And yeah, okay, let's put this back in here. Put these. Yeah, this is Oh, I got another five god apples. I didn't notice that. Alright, let's do the next two. Alright, we got a set of P4, which will really help us, so we'll put that on now. A witch spawner, a villager golem spawner, and a pig zombie spawner. Those two are really good. That's what's going to help us out the most, probably. Uh, efficiency 5 on breaking 3 shovel, the efficiency 5 on breaking 3 axe, and 8 bottles of stacks of bottles of enchanting. And our last key, we get mm, 105k, an underman spawner, 5 god apples, a really OP bow. A bow. And another villager golem spawner. Awesome, man. That's awesome. Alright, so actually, we did actually really good, guys. Um, I think we'll do really good with this series, and I hope this is going to go really well. Um, let me... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go find a spot to make a base. And once I do that, um, I'll be back right here, and then we'll start with the rest of the series. So guys, good luck, and I'll be right back. Peace. So we are back. Um, I just traveled about 18,000 blocks out. Um, not all in one direction, in two different directions. So I just got to about right here and I felt like I was in a good enough spot. It looks like it's a lot of, ooh, a decent amount of flat land right here. So it'd be easy to build trenches. Uh, in this series, it's just going to be me inside the base. I may add one more person later on, but that's about it. Um, so yeah guys, let's get started right about a year. I did not get any obsidian throughout those vault, those uh, keys, so this is going to be pretty hard on me. Um, I was thinking that I could buy some obsidian with this 175k I got. Um, I was, I'm pretty sure what in this series, I'm only going to buy things from Slash Shop unless if they're not sold in the Slash Shop. So, for example, like, oh, I did slash buy, oops. Um, example, obsidian. You can buy for $40 a piece, but you cannot buy, like, a set of P4. So, in this situation, I would have to buy a set of P4 from someone at an auction or through a trade. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, guys. So, I'm going to go in probably speed mode here and just start um, forming the base a little bit, and then I'll be right back. So guys, just keep working. And This 
when there's no more light that you can see I'll take us back To times when lives were similar And times it all seemed easier Two times. 
guys, we are back and we just built a two layer obby wall, but uh, one of the layers, the inside layer and the outside layer to separate each other so uh, kids cannot anti-glitch into our base. But guys, I wanted to explain a little bit more of this series to you and what it's going to be entailed. Um, basically, like I said, I started off with zero dollars. I realized that it was used towards this base and I can, like I said, I cannot buy things off of the shop that are not in the shop. So, like I said about the diamond armor, I already explained all this to you, so I'm not even going to explain it. But, um, like I have to buy everything else, like the pickaxe in the middle of it I had to buy because I didn't get one from the crate opening. And guys, the rest of this base I'm going to do off camera. I'm just going to water prod it and make a little a couple chests inside. And then then we're going to be back for the next episode. But let me finish explaining a little bit more about this series I'm going to do. Um, the raids I do will be by myself. There will be no one part of my faction inside of this base. No one will be TP'd here. Except of the one person I was explaining that might or might not happen. Um... Yeah, my faction has nothing to do, my real game play is, has nothing to do with this. This is just by myself and there will be no one else engaging my gameplay. Um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this first video of my series. I hope it's going to be a really great series. I hope we don't get raided on the first day. That would be so bad. But um, thank you for all the support I've been getting lately. I've been doing really, really well. I've been appreciating every single like and every single subscriber that I've been getting, even every view. I cannot believe how fast we are growing, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you for watching. It's your boy OG Raids, and we're out. See you guys later.